this is the worst video topic ever. And the reason is because nobody really wants to talk about it because it's one of the worst things about being a developer. Honestly, I'd be ecstatic if I didn't have to discuss it, but the reality is it's a, it's a situation that impacts almost every developer that I've ever met. And it's impacting a lot of developers right now, whether it's senior developers, mid-level developers, or even junior level developers. And it's really important that we address this issue uh, so that you can be prepared for it if you haven't faced it, or so that you can maybe get some help in handling it if you have faced it. This is going to be a multi-part series that will kind of cover this topic in from lots of different angles, just so that we have a better understanding of how to deal with it from all the different perspectives and not just from maybe the one perspective that you might be thinking of right out of the gate. Okay. So it's time to deal with the elephant in the room. It's something that everyone sees. Everybody knows that it's there. Um, hopefully you know that it's there uh, just from a, a reality of business, but everyone sees it. Everyone knows it's there, but everyone just kind of wants to avoid it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to uh, really admit that it happens and that it takes place. And, and the reality is that it's sitting right there in our living room and we need to actually talk about it so that we know how we're going to deal with with this elephant in the room. And of course, the elephant in the room that I'm talking about, the, the worst video topic ever, is this topic of layoffs. Now, if you're a junior developer and maybe you've gone through a boot camp, or maybe you've been working on your own training or you're trying to get into this market, you may have noticed that over the last year or maybe a little bit over a year, things have really started to get difficult for junior developers to get a job. And one of the things that you may have noticed in that timeline is not only has it been hard for junior developers to get a job, to get their first job, especially coming out of a boot camp or coming out of a training uh, situation, it's very difficult to get that first job. But you're also starting to see a lot of people getting laid off. In fact, just a, a few days ago, I had somebody comment on one of my videos that they had been laid off. I've got uh, friends that have been laid off. I've got uh, other coworkers that have been laid off in, in different instances. And, and so it, it's something that's really impacting a lot of people. In fact, uh, we had a lot of layoffs in 2023, especially near the end of the year. And even here at the beginning of 2024, we've seen big companies start laying off people. So this is something that's happening right now in the developer industry. And it's something that if you're, if you're not sticking your head in the sand, you know that it's happening and you know you're hearing that people are getting laid off and, and yet nobody really wants to talk about it. We just kind of all suffer through this process all on our own. And, and I want this really to be an opportunity for us to really think about what's happening in the layoff uh, situation from lots of different angles so that we can know how we can adjust our thinking and adjust the, the way that we respond to this situation so that we can make the best of it, whether you're somebody who's been laid off or whether you're somebody who is still employed, but others around you have been laid off, or maybe you can't even get a job, but you know, hey, this is a reality that could happen in the future. So you need to prepare yourself so that you can be ready when and if that happens. So the goal of this series is for you to be informed so that you can be prepared to make the right decisions and to be able to handle the situation whenever it happens to you or around you. So hopefully this series is going to be a help to you as we talk through the different aspects of layoffs, what they mean, how they happen, and all the different ways it affects different people in the process. And then of course, in the end, we're gonna talk about how can you prepare yourself for that possibility that you might get laid off in the future as well. Of course, as we go along, if you have any questions, certainly feel free to leave them in the comments section of this video or, or future videos in this series. We're gonna to try to release all these videos at one time so you can just go from one video to the next. So let's move on to part two.